In this video, we'll look at the Quick Bar, which is a new six button controller with four way buttons, OLED displays, really compact form factor. It's um, Pro powered, so with a single Ethernet cable, we have uh, power and data. It's um, fairly low profile form factor, very slim, and um, it's right here set up with an ATEM switcher. So you can see um, we currently select sources for auxiliary three, but this is something we can change. And um, obviously it has OLED display. So each of these buttons enjoy an OLED display that will show you what the buttons do. And um, it's hooked up with an ATEM switcher. Did I say that? Okay, anyway, I'll show you um, on the last key, which I have color coded differently with a uh, slightly blue color, I call it ice. I have um, a little menu in my display. That's a graphic I made and uploaded to the controller. So you can see as I press the sides, I am changing the inputs that I assign to the auxiliary bus selected. If I go the other way, left edge of the button, I'm going back. So you see that camera one, two, three, four. If I go this way, some other cameras, if I go click on this edge, I go back again. So it's forth and back on the edges. And that's because this has been set up as a four way button. Okay. You can even see which page you're on. If you look at this LED bar, it is associated with the level. So as I progress through the shift levels, you see how this is reflected on the LED bar right there. Now, if you look at this graphic, you see uh, an arrow pointing up and it says aux bus. So when I press this, notice what happens with the labels right there. They change. So now it's auxiliary one. And if I press again, it's auxiliary two. And if I press again, it's auxiliary three. Now let's see this work. So if I in the ATEM software, I bring up auxiliary one, you can see that I am selecting sources on auxiliary one as I press these buttons. That is not a surprise, I would say. So if I now page to the next sources, then although they are called camera one, two, uh, uh, seven, eight, nine, and so on, they are actually labeled uh, like you see, uh, maybe I should just go and show you, you can see um, the label for PTC one is camera 10. This is why you don't see it in this list because they only show the long names and here we show the short name. So, but in fact, if I press this one, I go to camera 10 on auxiliary one and guess what happens if I go to auxiliary two and I press this one, it goes to camera 10. And now I'm not sure there's so much more to say because it's really basic, but you see how powerfully you can use those six buttons because they are four way buttons. This one, is a four way button. These are just regular buttons. But with this single button, you can do so many complex things. And it's cool with the OLED displays that will show you exactly what is happening behind the scene. Now, maybe you want an explanation for those uh, LED bars be, uh, below the buttons. And um, the explanation is that it has been mapped to show you if any of these sources are on program or preview, if for whatever reason you want to know that. And um, let's just see that's happening right there. So now you see I'm changing sources on preview and that's reflected on these LED bars. So it's essentially uh, ME1 tally uh, that you enjoy on these uh, LED bars in the bottom of the quick bar. So quick bar, small, cool utility panel that is easily set up with a video router or video switcher or recording deck even. A very versatile device, PO powered. So um, you have just one cable coming out of it, very useful.